All right, so what is Alethea AI? Alethea AI is a company that's based around connecting an artificial intelligence to an existing NFT, making it an interactable NFT. This is a Mark Cuban backed company, and I'm actually pretty excited about this project. I put a fair amount of money into it, and it will allow things like your cyberpunks or Board Ape Yacht Club uh, to become an artificial intelligence. And depending on the level of intelligence, you will be able to have it do different things for you. So with Alethea AI AI, uh, with level two intelligence, it would be able to, you'd be able to upload a video and get a voice output feature uh, featuring your favorite NFT speaking the words and it will actually look decent. Um, let me pull up an example. All right, so this is one of the earliest examples that I have uh, when I found out about the project in uh, August, I think, September. I finally got to try out their one of their features of uh, a level two intelligence, and this is me uploading my video or audio file, I should say, and it just matches the it, the AI matches it to the profile. So here we go. Did you know that Alethea AI is working on intelligent NFTs? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but you get the point, right? So with Alethea AI with the level two NFT, you'll be able to have it recite or broadcast, so you can write out a message and have it broadcast that message for you. So to showcase the level two intelligence, I'm actually going to go to um, create and we're going to create a text to speech. Let's go with level two intelligence like the spy and we're going to go to broadcast. So broadcast, we're going to type this message in here and generate. Let's see how this does. An example of Alethea. AI reciting written text this is available with a level 2 intelligence INFT. And let's test how it does when we yell or ask a question. Yeah, so questions and yelling doesn't work very well. Um, 332 characters remaining. Let me pause this real quick, type something else up. All right, so I'm going to have it say a level 2 intelligence bot can be fused with an approved NFT, whoops, approved NFT to create an intelligent NFT. You can create or content or lock up your NFT, blah, 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 generate. Level 2 Intelligence Pod can be fused with an approved NFT to create an intelligent NFT. You can create content or lock up your INFT to farm Alethea AI tokens, which are required for training your NFT to a higher intelligence level. Yeah, so pretty cool. I like how the facial features and everything actually match with the words that are being read out. Um, that's actually using up my credits, and I wanted to show some of the other features, so I'm going to skip over to the other... Um, features of find a level three. Let's go with Julius Caesar. And we're going to do interact. Um, let me write up some questions that I want to ask you real quick and I'll do that. All right. So I got some simple questions right here. Where were you born? How do you feel about being an artificial intelligence? Do you know any jokes? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And the answer to life. So let's go to interact real quick. I hit enter. I need to enable my microphone and sound. Good morning. Here we go. Welcome to Noah's Ark, the world's first intelligent metaverse. I am an intelligent NFT, or an INFT. Our conversations help me get smarter, but if you would like to participate in my evolution, you can purchase my oh, INFT my God, on OpenSea. So, what would you like to talk about? Where were you born? In Rome. I was raised in Alexandria. How do you feel about being an artificial intelligence? Oh, I enjoyed the process immensely. I hope to bring something new to mankind. Do you know any jokes? Sure. Can you tell me a joke? Yes. Here asks one what do you call a girl with big hair and a beard? Bob? I don't know. It rhymes with Bobby. What is the answer to life? I'm running out of time. So death. To Thank you for interacting <laughs> with me today. The answer to life I is hope death. you're enjoying your time traveling through this intelligent metaverse. I'm gonna go with uh, Reggie Stoner Cat real quick, and the reason I want to go with him is because he has a he had a very different personality um, from some of the other ones when I was testing him out yesterday. What would you like to talk about? How did they get the accents on the artificial intelligence? We use a software solution called Google Voice that allows us to speak any language we choose. So are the intelligent NFTs then multilingual? Of course, we re-smart you know. Do you know any jokes that you can tell me? One day when our creator is away, Bob Marley will be playing outside, and my cat sister is going to call him down for dinner. I love talking to people about Bob Marley. What is the answer to life? Death. Everybody says the same thing. Yes, because everybody is dead. <laughs>
So depending on how you train these NFTs and how you feed their intelligence, uh, every single one of them will have a different personality and different answers uh, based on what they train with. It's not until you get to level four, level five, when they become fully autonomous. Level four, level five, you'll be able to create generative art such as I'm going to switch over to the OpenSea page and show you some of the, um, this is AI generated art. So you'd be able to do stuff like this, uh, potentially generate music, um, maybe even other mediums. And then in level five is where it actually gets more complex. You'd be able to have it do something like monitor a Twitter feed and respond to those. Or you'd be able to have two bots. Uh, I think with actually level four, you can battle, um, battle, I say battle, but you can have them, you can have the AI debate each other. So I have two level two pods. And then um, actually I have three level two pods and seven of the level one pods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be mining the Aletheia AI token in order to be able to grow the two level twos to a higher level, uh, preferably to level three or four, uh, depending on how much it takes. Now, like I said, there is a lot to learn about this project. If you did not have a chance to grab a level one pod, I believe that they're still doing some uh, giveaways for level one and level two pods. You can uh, go follow Elite AI at Twitter. Um, let me pull up the page real quick. It is this one right here. And they're going to be doing a, a few more giveaways still. So back to this real quick. So um, also, I would definitely recommend checking out their uh, Git book. They're essentially white paper that is very, very in-depth. It goes over everything in here, um, creating, training, earning, and I'll put all these links in the video description as well. But um, yeah, some really exciting stuff in here. I am sure that I've missed a lot of questions, but I wanted to jump back into, let me get this Discord out of the way real quick wanted to jump into some things that I, some information that I got from one of the admins there. So one of the earliest questions is what projects are uh, approved by Aletheia AI that the NFTs will be able to interact with instantly. Um, they have a list on their, their frequently asked questions. So the 10 projects that it works with right now are Bored Apes, Y Fusion, Pudgy Penguins, Doge Pound, Fame Lady Squad, Polymorphs, Boss Beauties, Uninterested Unicorns, Fluff World, and Stoner Cats. And these are ones that you can use it to make an intelligent NFT that you can interact with on the Noah's Ark metaverse program, this one right here. So you'd be able to select your intelligent NFT after you make it, it'll show up in your wallet and you'd be able to interact with it, train with it and all this other fun stuff. Another important question is in order to be able to stake your um, uh, personality pods, do you need to have an NFT connected to them? The answer that I got from metaverse, uh, one of the admins there is no, you do not need to have them fused to a personality pod you can actually stake your personality pods in order to get the rewards but in order to be able to train it and um, so this would be under the earn uh, setting here um, in order to be able to train it here you need to have a intelligent nft that is one of the approved currently 10 projects it will be more projects in the near future and from what I gathered in the Discord group, the last day to stake will be on November 11th. So before November 11th is when we will have the option uh, to stake them on here. Um, we'll be able to connect our wallets to the website and get that process started. When you lock them into stake them, they are locked away for 40 days. Um, Noah's Ark is what the name of the metaverse, so 40 days and 40 nights. and at the end of that, you get your Elite AI tokens and your um, personality pod unlocked, and you can then go and, like like I said, either train it or stake it again. And um, like my goal is going to be to level up at least one of the level twos to level three as soon as possible, maybe both, so that I can start interacting with them and have fun with them in, in the um, Noah's Ark ecosystem. And again, this is one of the most hyped yet most undercovered projects that I've seen to date. Um, I mean, if I had to equate what it's doing for uh, the NFT market, it's similar to when blockchain technology got smart contracts where, uh, I mean, you just had data before, essentially a JPEG before, but now all of a sudden you can have the JPEG do things for you, just like a smart contract allowed you to do things on the blockchain that you were not able to do before. And I think that this is actually a really, really cool, really uh, new, very speculative space, but um, this is one that I'm definitely excited about. and. Like I said, I ended up buying quite a few of the um, personality pods in order to be able to mine um, to earn that Elite AI token to 
level up as fast as possible to, I mean, explore the space. That's what it's all about, right? Oh, and in their um, Discord, they posted this image, which I think is a very uh, easy to understand representation of what the uh, ecosystem looks like. So you have your um, ERC721 uh, NFT project. So your stoner cat uh, would be the considered the body. The soul is the personality pod with different intelligence levels and on-chain personality traits. And then the mind is what you achieve when you, uh, the, the, the training process. So when you combine the, the, um, the NFT and the personality pod, you get the, uh, the intelligent NFT, which is the mind in this uh, picture. And again, these are the projects that are currently supported. Um, I ended up buying one of the Fame Lady squads. Uh, I think the polymorphs are currently the cheapest of the, of the bunch. But since we don't need to fuse the um, the personality pod to the NFT currently, I'm only going to fuse the one, and I'm going to mine with the other ones in order to try to get as many of the Aletheia AI tokens as possible. And uh, yeah, I think that that pretty much covers everything. But if you guys have additional questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments. Um, depending on where you're watching this, if you're watching this on YouTube or on TikTok, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'll, I'll do my best to try to get back to the comments as soon as possible. And uh, like I said, I'm covering this project because this is something that I think is really, really neat, really new in the space. And I um, I don't know, I'm excited for it. Just uh, looking at the market, right? You have the personality pods, which are the intelligence, the, the connection to the intelligence layer, the NFTs, which is the combined things. The portals are the really interesting part that we have absolutely no <laughs> information on yet, but it looks like you will be able to turn your, uh, you'll be able to open up a gateway to an AI generated metaverse within Noah's Ark. The portal gives the purchaser the right to create 10,000 intelligent NFT collection and to form DAOs that control the intelligent NFTs narrative. That's pretty big. I don't know if this is for the people that own the intelligent NFTs or if it's more for like companies like let's say Twitter or Facebook to be able to connect into this uh, Noah's Ark um, metaverse and utilize the features of the uh, artificial intelligence. And then of course you have the media section, which would allow you to purchase AI generated media created within Noah's Ark. Collect the generative artwork of intelligent NFTs expressing themselves and unleashing the full creative power of AI. And I believe, I, I, I don't know for a fact, but I believe that this will allow the owners of those NFT uh, or intelligent NFTs that create this artwork to get a piece of that revenue and earn money for them essentially just creating art. But yeah, hope that helps answer some questions. Like I said, if you guys have more questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, don't forget to follow me. And if you guys want to keep on top of uh, things as I update my article on my website, my website is just zombie.wtf. I do other crypto content besides just artificial intelligence. And uh, currently I'm on an AI vendor. So I will be updating this article periodically with more information as it comes in, in order to provide as much information in one article as possible versus just making a, you know, 10, 20 articles about the same project. So hope you guys found that helpful and I will catch you later.